Hi, we're down here in the ICU dirty utility room. I'm going to run you guys through the process of uh, pre-soaking sterile instruments, taking them to central sterile, and then um, also the process of picking them up 24 hours later. Um, so here on the wall is the standard operating procedure. Um, you should always look at that if you have any questions about how to do this. Um, so we have a dirty instrument at the bedside. Um, so we're going to start in here in the dirty utility and get the um, biohazard box and we're going to take it into the bedside. Once we get into the bedside, we'll show you the process of um, getting the instrument, bringing it back in here, um, pre-soaking it, and then taking it to central sterile. Okay, I'm in at the bedside. I've got my dirty instrument here. I've got my bin that has the biohazard tag. I've got my gloves on. Never handle an instrument without gloves on. I'm going to remove my lid. I'm going to open my instrument and lay it in the bottom of the box and put my lid back on. And then I'm going to take this container back to the dirty utility to pre-soak it. Okay, we're back in the soiled, soiled utility. Um, I've got my instrument in my box. I've put on a, a fluid shield mask. You have to wear one of these when you're cleaning an instrument so you don't get splashed in the face. I've also put on a clean pair of gloves and I'm going to take the lid off my container. I can see that there is some tissue that's visible on the blades so I'm going to use gauze pad and I'm going to take it and I'm going to take that off the, the fluid or tissue that's visible and then I'm going to throw that away. And then I'm going to get this foaming cleanser and I'm going to spray with the blades open. You have to make sure that they're open. I'm spraying that and then I'm putting the lid back on. Okay, well once I have my container closed after I've um, sprayed my instrument, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to write the date and the time that I took it to Central Sterile. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and take the box down to Central Sterile and we'll show you where that's located. Okay, so now we're bringing um, our instrument to um, Central Sterile Decontamination. This is the hallway leading to the ER. So if you'll look that way, you can see you go left and the ER is just down the hall. Um, and on this door, it says CS Decontamination. It does say for clinics, however, it is meant for all of everyone to bring their stuff and drop off here. So you're going to badge into the room, open the door, you're going to use this to sign it in, and you're going to drop your container off here. So we're here in Clean Utility and ICU, uh, we're going to pick up the clean container and we're going to go to the OR central sterile side and pick up our instruments to bring back. You never carry an instrument outside of the container. I know we keep saying that but it is because um, it is a joint commission standard and we have to follow it. Uh, we also wanted to point out that the way you tell if an instrument is disposable or not is if it says Pakistan on it that is disposable and means they do not need to go to central sterile um, you actually just dispose of these in the sharps container. So we just wanted to let you know how to do that. Um, so now we're going to go to um, the clean central sterile and pick up our instrument. Okay, we are here um, down the hall from same day surgery, just outside the doors to where we go in to pick up from um, clean central sterile. I've got my box, so we're going to go ahead and go in. We got a bag in. Once you've picked up your instrument from central sterile to clean side, you're going to bring your container back to your clean utility and you're going to make sure that you place your instrument back on the cart where it belongs. Um, never take your instrument and lay it down somewhere. You want to make sure you always put it back where it belongs.